Hey everybody. In this video I want to talk about working some color into your improvisation by combining fragments of the chromatic scale with the major scale. So as a basis for this I'm going to use C major scale in seventh position. And one strategy is to target one of the notes in the scale. So I'm going to target B, 9th fret, 4th string, and I'm going to approach that target from a half step below. So I'm going to approach it from an A sharp. And I can approach, of course, this B up here by half step. And this is in the midst of the improvisation. Let's hear how that sounds. By the way, the chord progression I'm using to improvise over is just the 2-5-1 in the key of C. So that's D minor 7, G7, and C major 7. Okay, so I can also approach from two half steps. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to target the same note, B, but I'm going to approach from two half steps below. And I can approach upper B from two half, half steps below, of course. Here we go. can also approach from two half steps from above. So I'm going to target G this time and I'm going to start on the A above it. I can approach from three half steps also. So I'm going to target this D and I'm going to approach from B below it. I can even approach from four half steps. So I'll target this B from four half steps below. So I'm approaching from this G. So I was combining a few of those together and you can see how you get a lot of color all of a sudden into your improvisation. Another uh, advantage of, of having an approach like this is that it gives some direction to your improvisation. You're not just wandering around aimlessly through the scale. You have uh, a direction, certain notes are a little more prioritized than others. This time, I'm going to approach from above and below. So let's take this, the E on the 9th fret 3rd string, and I'm going to approach from a half step above, and then a half step below, and then finally, I hit my target. Let's hear how that sounds.
So that gives you quite a bit to practice. Um, as usual, you'll want to do that in various places along the fingerboard, different fingerboard patterns for the major scale. And you'll want to transpose that too. So uh, have fun with that, and we'll see you the next time. Happy practicing.